Hey guys, it's Jason Love again. I um, it's been a crazy week because I have a, a final paper due for my MBA class, which is my last class, and I had a couple shows this weekend. So I hope you don't mind. I am pretty much just got up, worked on homework, shooting this video quick, and I realize I'm shooting by myself, so I might I might be a little bit off. That looks good. Okay. Anyways, um, so I went through my entire comic book collection. Uh, this isn't my entire comic book collection, but this is the ones that I found that actually had some value. Um, I also went through my card collection, which I'll go through next. Um, Infinite Earth, which is, I know I, you guys had on the show at least one of the episodes I saw. Probably by itself, it's only worth 10 bucks, So probably not something you'd be interested in by itself, but maybe with a bunch of other stuff. Um, Trog, the, and the Sky Gods, probably about the same, 10 bucks. It's kind of unique just because it has a different look and it kind of has that, uh, this one was from 1975, but kind of has that early 80s, you know, Conan the Barbarian look to it, things like that. A little bit different style. Uh, the Avengers, which obviously is popular right now, these together uh, would be, I actually have two of the same um, comic. These were done early 90s, I believe, yeah, 93. And they're worth about 12 bucks each, so it ends up being, actually, I think like 13 or 14 So I probably would want about $25 for the two of these. Um, then these I already mentioned. They're the, the Star Wars, which kind of the pride, pride of my collection. Um, I have another one that actually is, so these would be $50. But the other one, which is this one, was probably one of my favorites as a kid because... I was really into X-Files, and it's kind of like a graphic novel. It's kind of unique. It's by Golden Press, and it's actually, I assume, real stories of people talking about UFO encounters, um, and then they turned it into, I guess, comic book slash trade paperback kind of a thing. Um, this is probably worth about $25, is what I would, just from my research, it looked like. Um, and then... Obviously, I talked about the Action Comics in number one, which is worth about 50 But I also have, with that, I found a couple more um, Supermans. And I know I have more, but these are the ones that are actually worth a little bit of money, which is the Superman Returns from the Dead. And I do have one of the ones when he, um, you know, Superman dies. I can't remember exactly what they call that. Um, I know the end one was called Doomsday. But anyways... Uh, this one, the action comic, and Superman meets the Quick Bunny, which is a 1987. Okay, I know these were printed, you know, with this one in the action comic remake reprint that I have. The action comic number one were printed around the same time, within five six years, and probably for the Superman, all three of them, I would say 70 to 75 is probably their value. Um, each of these, are, this is probably worth like 15. Another one's not worth a whole lot, but about eight to ten bucks um, so yeah somewhere in that ballpark is what I'd expect for those Supermans now I do have a few more Supermans and it would probably put if I just sold like the Superman collection it would probably put it at like 80 85 range um, but this is something I thought that would might work out better is uh, I have this w weird collection of cartoon cartoon characters um, these Kool-Aid ones so I don't know the ind individual prices I'd have to look them up but I thought you know you take like the Kool-Aid these OG Wiz presents Tubby um, I have some Golden Golden Key Underdog a lot of these are animation related uh, Walt Disney Beagle versus Uncle Scrooge now these are also in a variety of conditions Huey Dewey and Louie another Walt Disney um, so basically, this is a collection between Golden Key uh, being doing some animation from I don't not sure who did the animation for Underdog, but Golden Key Whiteman and Whiteman did the Disney stuff. So this here's another one. This one's actually straight from Disney, which is Mickey Mouse and Goofy Explore Energy Conservation. Um, and this one is I believe from I don't know if there's a date on this or not. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll keep going. Uh, if you look it up, you can find the date. Another Kool-Aid Man one. Walt Disney's Chip and Dale. 
the Road Runner, um, Woody Woodpecker, Tweety, and Sylvester. Now, I thought maybe we could bunch these all together. I mean, individually, they're worth, you know, not as much as the action number one, but altogether, they're probably worth, uh, I would want at least 100, if not like 120 for all of them, just because. Uh, I'd probably maybe lean more towards 100 just because some of them aren't in the greatest condition. Um, you know, just bent corners. And I'm not an expert on defining how good a comic book is. Um, I mean, I know what near mint looks like, but that's about it. And everything else. Um, yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not an expert. But for the for that collection, like I said, probably around 100. I'd probably start at 120 and kind of assume that it would eventually go down to at least 100. For cards, I have a um, huge collection, but most of them don't seem to be worth a whole lot. Um, for for Garbage Pail Kids, I can't imagine these. These are my collection right here. I, If I get 50 bucks for them, I would be amazingly happy. I can't imagine they're worth that much, but um, you guys would probably know better than I would. There, none of them are from, I believe, none of them are from the first series. They're all from the second, or printing, from my research. The other thing I have is Star Wars cards. Uh, these are in a variety of conditions. So again, I can't imagine 50 bucks would be great, but I can't imagine them really be worth that, just from the research I've done. And then the other one that isn't really worth money, but I thought maybe you'd find interesting, um, is I have these superhero cards that, again, for this I imagine 20 bucks for the whole pile could be happy with. Um, the problem is, is in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, they make cards of everything. So I have a huge variety, so here's kind of an idea. So I have like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie, I have Term Terminator 2 the movie, I have Harry and the Hendersons the movie, I have Adam Family the movie, I have Dick Tracy the movie, I have, uh, here's some wrestling, oh, E.T. the movie from the 80s. Um, basically, they made cards for everything. I don't know if they still do this, but, um, and people were collecting them and keeping them. So a lot of them, while are unusual and you don't see a lot, they're not worth a lot because they're sitting in people's basements and their attics, things like that. Um, things that I just think are cool are... I have Desert Storm cards, which, again, people just have them just sitting around everywhere. Uh, let's see. I have musician cards, so um, this isn't really helping you because I'm not showing them to you. But anyways, so these are the uh, the ones I think are worth anything. But I, I, you know, my comic books are probably worth more. So I also wanted to mention that I do have a friend in the probably about it's probably about four hours away who they have a, um, a relative who is looking for somebody to bring me out now I haven't had a good enough reason I'm a little bit over their price range but um, basically I said if if I could work around with you guys I uh, I would give them a deal so they would basically pay for my my gas and a little bit for the show uh, it's for homeschool. I thought that could be interesting because then I could show up in a, my tuxedo and say, if they ask why am I wearing a tuxedo, I can say I'm a magician and I was performing. And I could tie that into that, which would bring me, you know, if they want to see, if ask them if they want to see a couple tricks or if they want to see a trick or if they want to see a balloon animal, whatever they'd like, um, which would actually make more sense to why I am in, um, why I am in the area and not driving, you know, across the country to come just to the store. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully this will work. If you have anything else you want me to look for, I can look for it. Uh, yeah, keep me updated. Thank you. Bye.